I previously covered the case of Alicia Navarro. She's now 19 and she went missing from Glendale, Arizona in September 2019 when she was just 14 years of age. She walked into a police station identifying herself as the girl who went missing back in 2019, gave her name and requested that she be taken off the missing list because she wanted to begin her life as an adult now. She had been living with Edmund Davis, a 36-year-old from Montana, and this man, linked to the teenager who'd been missing for five years, is now facing charges after police allegedly found child P on his phone and computer. On Monday, Edmund Davis, who's 36, was arrested and charged with two felony counts of child abuse related to material found on his cell phone. Now that his charges came, as we say, three months after Alicia, who is now 19, arrived at the police station, giving her name to officers. The police executed a search warrant on an apartment where Alicia was living with Davis and authorities did confirm that this was her boyfriend. When Alicia opened the door, she told officers that she was the only one there. But officers saw Mr. Davis in the kitchen behind her, allegedly throwing a cell phone into the garbage and placing items on top of the phone. Officers seized three mobile phones, including the one in the garbage, as well as the HP laptop and an Xbox One console. Now, after obtaining a search warrant for the items, authorities found explicit child P materials and more than 80 images on his phone. Some of these images were children under the age of 13 and some were children under the age of five, boys and girls. This phone that they seized contained images of infants and toddlers and other computer-generated or animated content showing children being, you know. And during these searches, authorities were also trying to gather information about how Alicia came to be living with him in the first place. Alicia is a high-function autistic child who was enrolled in a school in Phoenix at the time, though she resided in Glendale with her mother. Her mother, Jessica, said that she suspected her daughter may have been lured away at the time by someone she'd met online. And Alicia apparently, when she left, took her cell phone and her laptop with her. Alicia has been living with Mr. Davis for about a year, neighbours said. But she is now in a safe place. So he has been held on a $1 million bond in the Hill County Detention Centre, but it's unclear whether he has retained an attorney who can speak on his behalf. The first count of ABUSC for knowingly possessing electronic communication images of a child or children under 12 years of age or younger engaged in conduct carries a 100-year prison sentence. 25 of those years may not be suspended or deferred. The second count of child can result in imprisonment for life with a minimum sentence of four years. And Alicia is now apparently in a safe place. Let's hope that she's able to rebuild her life and builds a relationship with her family.